So this is our login page. Every cashier or every employee will have an account number and password. So to log in to our machine, you have to enter your account number, which in my case, 001. And then password is 123456. Then I log in. After I log in, I got the option of envelope deposit. If I want to deposit coin, if I want to deposit a check or uh, cash deposits. A cash deposit here is split into multiple business needs. So for example, if I'm depositing money for sales, I can, I can choose this one. If I'm depositing money as a refund, I can put it here. If I have any other business needs, I can deposit also under other. So in the remote application, the owner can classify or category the amount he received based on each business need. So today I'm gonna check sales. This is select the business day you are talking about. So I'm gonna talk about today. I'm gonna deposit this money under today business date. So here I need to put the money. It's a combination of different notes and different denomination. Confirm. So we finish counting. Here it's saying that there are rejected note, so I will take it out. So I found these two. I confirm. It's okay. So here it's listing the deposit detail based on denomination and how many notes per each denomination. So 100 yuan, I deposit four notes. 50 yuan, I deposit 13 notes. 20 yuan, I deposit 19 notes and so on. Then it gives you the total amount you are gonna deposit. Here you have two options, or actually three options. The first one, to cancel. So all the money is stored in the escrow driver waiting for the cashier to either cancel the transaction or confirm the transaction. Get back to the screen. On the confirm side, we have two options. Either continue, if the machine rejected notes and I have more notes that I need to deposit, into single transaction, I will choose continue. If I finish and I don't have any more money to deposit, then I will click on confirm and get a receipt for my transaction. In my case, I'm gonna simulate now the cancel. So I'm gonna reject the transaction. All the money here, I took it back. So I'm gonna deposit again. I'm gonna put some money. Control. So here we have rejected note. So if I just take one note and click confirm, can't go because there is still some rejected note I didn't take. So I will clear the rejected tray and click confirm. This is all the money I got. So this means I need to deposit this again. So I will press this time, I will press and continue. So now the money has been deposited in the safe bag and it give me the option to deposit more money in the same transaction number. So I'm gonna deposit this one. Finish. So I don't have any more. At this time I don't have more cash, so I will click on confirm because I finished my transaction. First money will be deposited then it's asking you if you need a receipt or not. Then I will confirm that I need a receipt. This receipt has the unit name, organization name, stuff number, transaction date and time, and counting the amount. And if you, in, if you deposit an envelope, it will count how much you, you deposit an envelope and give you the total as well. So now I finish, I wanna leave, so I will press exit. You ask me if you need another receipt or not. Or not. Yes, I need another receipt. So this one is a bigger one. So it give me how much money or the deposit under which uh, category. So I deposited money under supermarket sales. 
I deposit 1,759 yuan and there is no money in an envelope. And here supermarket fund zero and all are zero. So they give me the total I deposit. So I have two vouchers. Okay. 